Hey Trip, with the help of your advice, I've been getting a good number of matches on Tinder and other apps. Uh, actually, let me interrupt this real quick. I should say, I know we're talking about online dating here. I do have an online dating program that if you guys want to get this, you will get a lot of matches from online. It's called Online Domination. I'll put a link there in the podcast notes as well, and you can get that. It is a program that I've created that has been insane at getting guys results, at getting a lot of matches on all dating apps and sites, and it's a special, basically, uh, a system that is very efficient for getting lots of dates, tweaking your profile to make it so it is the most attractive that it can be, and then using a very special messaging sequence that you just copy and paste to get a lot of matches. Okay. Link for that in the show notes if you need more help. All right. Hey, Trip, with the help of your advice, I've been getting a good number of matches on Tinder and other apps. But a few times when the earliest time we could meet was four to five days away. Okay. We got another one here. I love it. But a few times when the earliest we could meet was four to five days away, they've lost interest in that time. I'm keeping in mind that, A, you can't build attraction over text. And two, the point of texting is to get them to meet up. So once we have a night set for drinks, my only plan for interaction between that meeting is something like looking forward to tonight, the day of, if that. Should I be saying less, more, or is there just nothing you can do if a girl flakes on you? For whatever it's worth, I'm 37 and mostly talking to women 32 to 45. Okay, so um, if you, again, I guess we're just diving into this more and that's totally fine. Okay, so this is great. So this person is seeing that they are getting a lot of matches and they are setting drinks but there's a lot of flakes. I'd like to hear what those numbers are because what I'm guessing is if a woman is flaking on you, no, not guessing, this is this is truth. If a woman is flaking on you, it is a you know 2% chance that it's from texting. You're going to hear from women, by the way, which goes completely against my advice. You're going to hear from women, oh no, you better be texting. If the, if, if the guy's not texting me, I'm assuming he's not interested, blah, 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 blah. No, listen, the reason why they're not really interested is because they're not interested in that guy because the profile to them was something that was not that interesting. The profile was just okay and they're kind of just going with it. So my advice to you is fix your profile. You want women to actually stick with these dates. It's not going to be texting. By the way, I should... Isn't this good news? Don't guys want to hear this? I would imagine guys would want to hear permission to not sit there and text all day. This is not sustainable. It's not a sustainable lifestyle to be sitting there and texting. And you know what happens? You know what happens? You end up then setting the precedent to that girl that you're a texter and that you're texting all the time. And then when you start dating, you have to text all the time. And this is a waste of your time. You should be doing other things. And it's going to make you look needy. Basically, you're setting yourself up for disaster from the very beginning if you're a big texter because it's going to eventually, high chances of blowing up in your face and you're going to be saying something wrong over text, showing neediness, whatever it is. It's no good. So I'm imagining here, anonymous, that you are either A, your your profile is not as good as it could be, or really it's just one thing. Your profile is not as good as it could be. So you're getting a lot of low interest women to agree. That's what's happening. Hands down. There is no way that all these women, and I wonder how many there are. Sometimes people think that they're matching a lot and setting up a lot of dates and the, and the number is like three. You know, So I wonder if this is like 20. But again, I couldn't imagine. There's no way that you've had 20 dates set up. All of them you know, a reasonable amount away, which you're saying is four to five days away, and all of them flaked. Girls flake anyway, by the way. There will be a girl who you'll text, and let's say you send the perfect text, she'll still flake. She'll still flake if she has low interest in you. Do you see what I'm saying here? I hope I'm proving my point. She'll still flake on you if she has low interest. So let's imagine... There's a girl, you match with her, you set up a date, and you're thinking, all right, I got to text her because the date's like three to four to five days away. I got to text her to build attraction. If she has low interest, nothing you can text is going to get her to meet up with you. Very, 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 very rare. 
So I would say for you, you need to fix your profile. I wonder what's going on there. It's great that you get a good number of matches, but something's going on in your profile that's not keeping women too interested. Or, and or, it's the messaging. I wonder what you're saying on there. I wonder what kind of messages you're sending. And then what kind of message subconsciously that you're sending to them through your messages. So you could have the wrong system and structure. As you can see, gentlemen, I, I fight tooth and nail on this one. We don't want to set the president. We don't want to be a texter. You want to be going on lots of dates. We want to filter harder. And we want to get you to have the best profile possible.